All right, guys. Um, while this is still running, we want to keep the ship tight. What about Amy Obi here? We've got Ben and Matt and Pithy with us. Um, we're going to start doing some of the questions while the slides are going through, and then um, we'll bring the main overlay up once everybody's slides run through so everybody gets the same exposure. Welcome to the 2021 TGC Tours Dream Team Draft. Good evening, everybody. Matt, Pithy. Hello. So um, we're going to kick this off. In terms of how we're drafting and who we're drafting, we're going for 15 on each team and then five alternates as well per team. So it's a total of 20, uh, which then leads to, with each captain, a team of 16. So um, that's the plan. We're amazed that 15 and delighted that 57 odd, I think, signed up. Um, so yeah, we're going to try to kick through this relatively quickly. Um, we do have a couple of questions for the captains just to set the tone and feel, get an idea for how they're feeling. So um, let's go with uh, to Matt first of all. Um, all how, right. would you, how would you describe your draft preparation? Insufficient. We're, we're going to give we're going to give Petty and McConnell a run for their money and just being as unprepared for this as possible. Strong. Although I do, I do know all of the names of the people in the draft, so I mean, that that might be that we might we might uh, rise above that bar already. So you know whether you're taking bread or board. Yes. <laughs> and you know who Nitro is. Yes. Excellent. Ah, we're do we're doing well. Yeah. Top um, Pithy, same question to you then. Um, yeah. So I I mine was kind of the opposite in that I. Mine was probably over sufficient, and uh, yeah, and I'm kind of just counting on the fact that Matt has probably antagonized about half the people in this draft, so I could probably get some some decent designers at a value, basically. That's that's yeah, fair. That's, that's probably accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah I imagine so. Yeah, Wayne, do you want to take one? Sure. Well, um, we'll start with we'll start with Pithy this time. Um, for better or worse, what have you learned from last year's captains? Not much, I would imagine. Um, um, pay pay yeah. attention to matchups. And also listen to the question and who it's being directed to. That, that also. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here comes the... Uh, there we go. Now you guys can oh, see all of us. Yep. Um, Good but, evening, everyone. Yeah, I'd say certainly with... Uh, yeah, definitely matchups are... are pretty important and also um you know be mindful of who you're taking with your last few picks i would say um because i you know we all know we all know like kind of the big names in the community and and who who is you know i think both of us are for our top several picks much like last year you know they're gonna be you know you'll get solid stuff from them so i think it's it's kind of, it's always kind of a question of who's gonna who finds the diamond in the rough, as it were? Mm -hmm. It won't be Matt. Um, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Matt, what do you expect of Dan's draft strategy? Uh, for it to be better than mine. Uh, we're we're going full. We're like we're making the party boat of the of the dream team. Like all the memes, none of the actual design ability. So my, so my mock draft was actually surprisingly accurate. Love it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> It's going to be cat people, uh, Ted Lasso references, and memes. Excellent. Oh, also, there's there's Orion for those in chat. I'm sure he'll be up on the desk at some point. I'll, I'll slide over so that uh, you know we get a little uh, we get a little cat in the uh, in the stream. I, I can basically guarantee you that neither of my cats will be making an appearance because they can't be bothered. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I love the fact that Matt completely missed the question, which was, "What do you expect Dan's strategy to be?" But but yeah. you, you talk about you. That's fine. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to read chat and answer questions. I'm a little scattered. Matt, don't, don't overextend yourself, buddy. I'm, I'm trying not to. I have a very low bar of what I can handle at once. Yeah, um, since I, I'm not going to reveal my draft strategy just yet. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, I expect Matt to, to uh, try and pick as many people that he talks to all the time on Discord anyway, so I don't know why he needs to have a second Discord channel with all those same people, but no. that's what's going to happen. I'm sure, and I'm sure it's going to leak. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll leak like a sieve, but you know. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. he'll probably mind. just kick you out of that one Discord and then just rename it. Yeah, probably. Pretty much. Yeah. All right. That's yeah. right. He does. He does. He does have admin admin privileges. So that's true. All right, Dan, not Matt. Dan, where do you think the draft will be won or lost? Uh, yeah, like I mentioned before, probably I'd say kind of like in the middle to late rounds. I think. Um, it's been pretty tough, kind of like I've. You know, I spend a lot of time thinking about like the top like dozen or so guys. You know, there's, you know, I feel like any one of those guys could win a contest, you know, um, on their own. And it's kind of like a question of where, like, is there going to be like a lost preserve in this contest that just blows everyone away? Um, and, you know, I think. I think there are a lot of guys that, that could produce a course like that. So I don't know if there's going to necessarily be that one course that just, you know, goes, goes five and oh, or what, or three and oh, whatever, um, in the matches. Uh, I think Andre's right, by the way, Zach suggested a Canuck versus Wayne dream team next year. And Andre's right. He could very easily take me one-on-one -on -one in design. I went by a little bit. Yeah. He's, he's got a, a, I have half a hole. He has, well, a lot more than that. Matt, what about you? I I believe the draft has already been lost by my team. Just the just you know, in terms of uh, uh, alienating half of the field and coming completely unprepared, I'm I'm prepared to give Dan the uh, you know the the draft win here. We're just gonna have to claw it back with uh, with gutsy performances and uh, and some motivational uh, team speeches. So Matt wa it? Matt wants to be like the endearing the endearing team. Yeah. And the mine's underdog. Just, mine, mine's just gonna be like you know this ruthlessly efficient design machine, basically, probably. Yeah, I, I hear one guy saying I'm gonna win, and I see hear the other guy saying I'm gonna lose. This isn't very much fun for trash talk. I mean, you gotta step it up, Matt. Come on. I'm he's, sorry. Tra he's trash talking himself. I know. We, we need <laughs> it. We need him trash talking you, Dan. How way? As, as Dan put it earlier, he's emotionally unavailable. There's nothing to bounce off of. Every everyone um, knows all of my better. weaknesses as a captain because I just wear them on my sleeve. Okay, I'll give you that. Well, I think we should probably get to doing some draft picks. So we did arrange earlier who was going to have pick one. So those of you who didn't watch this last year, it goes in a sort of snake. So one will take one. The other then takes two and three then four and five, etc. So the person who ends up picking one will also take the very last person at 40. Um, and I don't know how you, how did you guys decide it in the end? Was it over a golf match? Yes. And Matt lost? By a lot. Ah. Uh, so Matt <laughs> is picking first and then Pithy takes two and three. So we'll go with um, when, when the pick is in, Matt or Pithy, either of you are going to type it into Discord so that we have a rough idea of when it's coming. Uh, Wayne will load up a slide, and then we get the big, big reveal. Um, before we do that, chat. Who do you think you? Well, who would you take first that is not yourself? Should I just and, slide you guys? Uh, the yeah, first pick Matt. As soon as you're ready. There we go. So this with is a first show, pick in the draft, the Cleveland Browns select no, no, you don't Johnny Football. <laughs> Yeah, who, seeing... who, who's going to be the big draft bust this year? Who is the Manziel? The, the Ryan Lee. Maddie, Dylan, Scottish, <laughs> Charlie, Gerald, obviously, Heisenberg. Oh, did we have that pick is in sound? Uh, yeah, have I've it. Got, I have it. Yes. Oh, uh, excellent. Yeah. I can't remember who it was, but somebody sent me the, like, here's what Matt's going to do. And it was the year the Minnesota Vikings forgot to draft somebody. They just screwed their pick up. So that's uh, you know that's 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 the level of confidence that we have right you get, now. So you guys heard the sound, right? So Wayne, when you're ready to load up the slide, you announce the pick, and then okay. and there we go. It's pick is in. All right, pick is in with the first pick, the first overall pick of the 2021 Dream Team Draft. Team Blue selects T Petro. One of the formerly a lad, formerly a wee lad, an original wee lad, I guess we'll call him, um, now that there are new wee lads younger than him. 
Well, here we are. I mean, Wayne, what'd you make of the pick? Um, kind of safe, honestly. Kind of safe. Yeah, yeah. Matt, Matt gets along with Petro, and uh, I mean, you know, Petro's gonna he's gonna make a good course, but and and he's got he's got those leadership uh, immeasurables that we're looking for here at here at Blue Team. All right. Well, I will say I'm I'm you know given that you're incapable of trash talking me, maybe Petro can kind of pick that up. Yeah, that's exactly. Pretty solid. That's where it will. Yeah, he's trend, trending absolutely in the right direction. Yeah. Guys, guys start in college, though. I mean, how's mm. he going to handle the transition? Maybe Matt's just angling for an invite to a really nice golf course. Probably. Yeah. Let's get, exactly. There's all sorts of angles here. We can, go, we can go party on Long Island with Petro. Yeah. There, we'll, Petro put a course we'll, in nine we'll, days. We'll we'll, I mean, but blue, was it so any you can good? Actually see it. Ooh. Love it. Ooh. Okay. Well, Dan's pit first pick is in. There are. Uh, so, I mean, chat, if you had. Obviously, we've seen Petra's off the board. Where, where are we guessing now? Where would you go? I mean, we were talking about this earlier. I think for me, there's a top tier of kind of seven or eight guys that I don't think you can go wrong with. Um, so Petro being one of them, to be fair. Pet Petro was one of them, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was not how I was expecting Dan to, uh, to draft. This is very interesting. I have to, I have to change my, uh, right. my strategy a bit. Well, I think we should probably... Strategy? Hey, I had like the first like three laid out, and then after that, we're just winging it. Okay. Um, I think we ready to reveal this one. Yeah. So with the second pick of the 2021 draft, Dan selects Scottish 67. I did not see that one coming. If I'm honest, yeah. it's a well, good pick. Winner, winner, I... Winners of the rookie design contest. Uh... Have a pretty good track work record, don't they, Ben? Mm -hmm. We we yeah. we do all right. I mean, Rhino's a bit of a, an exception, but yeah. And I mean, really, I mean, let's be honest. He really he's the real winner of the World Cup this year. So yeah, I'd agree with I'd, that. Had to consider that. That's how it works. <laughs> the fan favorite. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a great pick. I. I was expecting to see him go a little bit later just because it's uh, based on the body of work. Two courses, two, two really good courses. Can't wait to see where he goes next. Love yeah, that. That, was, that, was, that was my thinking too. Is that he, he, the courses he's created have been great. It's just there hasn't been a huge amount of them yet. So mm. how, many, um, how many had Jamie done? Well, exactly. Uh, that's, that's your parallel. Wasn't last it? year, yeah. No, I love that. Great pick. No, that's... Yeah, that's uh, that's not a safe pick. I like that. Okay. Third pick is in. I think we can move on, yeah. And, wait a minute, let me get up to where he is. Because i got to look way, way, way up for this guy. The next pick for, again, Team Red is Maddie from the greatest country in the world. <laughs> oh, my. This 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 is the one I was really not expecting. Scottish, I I, I see. I was expecting uh, Maddie to fall to me later, but that's no. completely fine. It's the thing. I I knew I knew there was going to be a run on mats at some point, so I kind of had yes. to get out in front of this. You, you're, you're breaking right. up did, the did, Grant, did Dan draft a defense and a kicker too early, or, or, or you know thinking that you're going to start that run, and then you just and then you're just left holding the bag. Could be. All right. Uh, In that first... case, we will. Uh, I mean, that's an entertaining see. pick. So, I mean, Dan also drafting a trash talker for him. Is... Yeah, I was just going to say. I mean, yeah, there's, exactly. an, there's an extra. There's definitely an aspect there. That 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 that's could be a missed opportunity for uh, Matt there to get part of yeah, the cluster it... and a, a good trash talker. But uh, I mean, I, Matt, Maddie's most recent course, Yellow Grass Prairie, is fantastic. So it's it's a, it's a really good pick. 
works out well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my! We've got some got some more picks in. This is interesting. I did not see it going this way. All right. All right then. Then we know we're doing something right. We got the drama going. So um, I mean, we should probably throw it over to chat because chat seems a little surprised by the Matty pick, which is understandable. Um, who who would you have taken, or would you say who would you take next? No, I wouldn't, Seb. I wouldn't. I say. Uh, so yeah, I, I was, say, I, I, I was profess- expecting Matty to go in that five, six, seven range. Well, I, I, Jan, I uh... Jan jumped at him, so I get my I get my two and three. I mean, oh, you know, lovely. maybe maybe I overvalue people who talk about Golden Age designs with me. Mm, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so you've left Dylan on the board. Harsh. Mm. I know. Dylan, Dylan's, you know, he's, he hasn't been around this summer, but don't worry. He'll, <laughs> he'll fall to me later. No, nah, I don't know about that. But... No, I don't know. <laughs> hope he does. Matt is a can't miss. Hmm. Mm. All right, I, th- I mean, okay. pick number four, then. Pick number four. Um, he was in the TBC I know it's so news. hard. There's like ten guys I, re- I, I want to draft in, you know, four and five, and I can only have two of them. Well, this guy was in the TGC Tour news recently. Your current National Treasure champion, JW Texan. Yeah. It's hard to argue that one. Absolutely. I, I, I would have sworn he would have gone pick two or three. So I, I feel like this is, uh, this is, you know, falling nicely to me. It was, it was hard to, it was hard to pass on Wes. Uh, yeah. Cause I, I knew if I didn't pick him with the first two picks, you'd get him, but. Yep. Just Absolutely. imagine what, he, just imagine what you can do with 18 feet of elevation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The one, the one thing he is going to need to make sure of though is that he doesn't, he doesn't impale any spectators this time. Yeah, or cause the whole thing to <laughs> lag. I mean, his... yeah. So we will, we will be carefully monitoring the planting situation on his course. <laughs> I just figured if anyone is going to like be able to to teach him how to plant efficiently, it's this guy. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, we get. It. We're, we're all it's all about making the, the, the team members shine in, in a, you know the best possible way. Okay. Yeah, he was great in the Discord last year. It's, it's a good pick for the Discord. Absolutely. Sure. Just a great designer. Um it's that's hard to yeah. criticize that. True but... yeah, true five tool player, trash talk, memes, actual course design, you know, all of it. Five tool player. Love it. You're right, though. Okay. And then with the f- fifth pick overall, again for Team Blue. It's Nitro. Hell yes, let's go. I hope it doesn't get rocky for you there. Hey, I mean, you know, somebody has to go. Uh, has to go hit a home run, and you know, we got it. We got a big bat here. Yep. It's, Dan, uh... what's your reaction to that one? Um. Well, those are obviously both guys I would love to have on my team, but I know I wasn't going to get everybody that's, that's up that's there. A... But no, 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 none of this. Yeah. <sighs> I know. I'm. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> well, this I'm is why you that. drafted Matty. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Matt, yeah. where are you? <laughs> Your captain needs you. <laughs> you start now. Yeah. Is Matty still a modern? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think I think yeah, last yeah, I he last is. last I heard Nitro was having controller issues, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Mm. Mm. He might. I mean, you might be Behavioral getting his first, problems, you, may, you yeah. may be getting his first ever mouse and keyboard effort. So hey, who el- who better to teach someone that. how to do mouse and keyboard design? Mm, true. All right, I suppose I know I know how to fix all of these things. It's fine. Dan, you're on the clock, buddy. Yep. Uh, let's see. Why isn't this chat? Who are we thinking's next, guys? Yep, that one makes sense. Well, Duck has found Caps Lock and. Right. Excellent. Love, love that pick. 
Those are good picks. Oh. We've got Skinny, we've got Petty. Puffy. Unfortunately, I don't have any way to, like, cross any of these off. I am definitely gonna, like, after, like, 15 picks, I'm gonna try and draft somebody that we've already got. That'll yeah, be you're gonna, gonna try and try and uh, draft Scottish about, like, 30 minutes from now, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, pretty if much, not, yeah. If, if only there was a screen somewhere you could look at to see who's still left on the board. Yeah. Oh, you mean your yeah. stream? Yeah. Well, I, I don't. I don't know if I can do. I don't know if I can run your stream and all the video chat at the same time. So I have. Oh, I just have the chat and stream going, but I, I can't see your actual stream. Back yeah. back when I was a kid, we used pen and paper. I mean, that could work too. That's fair. Yeah, right. I mean, that picked. would require some forethought, which I did not put into any of this. <laughs> I mean, uh, I my my I did this like a rough draft board as well of where I'd go with one to forty. My number one's still on the board, which just goes to show how good that top tier was. Yeah, yeah for sure. Okay, this next pick is in. So this is this is uh, Dan's team. So that's what team red? Yeah. Okay, next guy, Trace. Beauty. Yeah. Guy, good pick. guy released a course yeah. just today. Maybe maybe shot his draft value up a little bit. Maybe he did. Yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't had a chance to play it, but yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't either. I'm, I will be tomorrow, hopefully. I mean, the community was blessed by Arthur Gian, so it was wonderful. Uh, yeah. Where are you, buddy? No, there's not much more to say. I mean, um, Trazer's been in two contests, what, been in three contests, won three contests. Pretty, pretty damn solid. Not a bad return, um, is it? I mean, he relied on his team quite heavily with last year's Dream Team. His individual output was was substandard, but otherwise, it's a fantastic <laughs> contest record. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and what Q said, Resmondo might be one of my favorite courses in the game. It's just awesome. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was that was a fun one to revisit while I was uh, doing some scouting. Oh yeah. The green, the greens are, I'm, I'm are just. Yeah. Have you um have you been able Loads to play Ar been able to play Arthur Jeans yet, Dan? No, I haven't. I just got home from work, so you uh, if you liked Resmando, that's that's a new one. You'll enjoy. All yeah. right. Okay. I believe we got yep, we got another pick in. The other picks in. Um so this is Dan's other so his what, fourth round pick, I guess, is it? Yeah. Yeah, this is the fourth pick. Skinny. What a tandem. Yeah, you can't go wrong with either of those. No, you cannot go wrong with either of those. It's um that's that's solid is what that is. And after Bryn last year, which is like the travesty of Bryn, I think going zero and three is like probably... He's gonna do you're gonna do better than this year. That you're gonna do better this year, Skinny. I promise. Like the, the, the second or third best course of the contest. Mm -hmm. Just got countered with loss preserve every single time. But yeah, that's how the, match, that's how the matchup worked, though, right? Yep. Yeah. And, and, and you know, and nobody's gonna. I, I will see to it that no one asks him to build a clubhouse to distract him from finishing his course. Sensible. Oh, so you're going with the Andre strategy there? Just skip the clubhouse. It's fair. No, he can build his own clubhouse. I'm just saying he's not going to get suckered into somebody else's clubhouse, unlike some uh... some collab. I mean, you want to keep him and Scottish like a fair way apart. They <laughs> they will get chatting, and <laughs> before you know it. <laughs> All right, there we get. I mean, two really solid picks. Um, a lot of cake guys going off the board early, and you love to see that. Mm -hmm. Love to see that. They're good. They're good at what they do. What can I say? They are. They are. Okay. Oh, I guess. Here's that sound. We know we know Dan has places to be, so I'm you know, I'm eight steps ahead. We got this. <laughs> so I think after after ten, let's take yeah. chat's feelings on, on who's got the better of it so far. That's that's what I was thinking too, Ben. Obviously this guy. Number eight going to who's this? This is Matt's team. Team Blue. Yes. Stay what puffed. Do we go? Yes. What a snag. That is I cannot my... believe he fell that late. That was my number one. I, yeah. I'm amazed. 
I mean, he's good for one one course a year, and it's stunning. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. That's. I think I think the only reason I didn't pick him overall is just like the slight doubt of having scheduling problems, and you know, like maybe not quite being the surest thing in terms yep. of of Got time. Yeah, exactly. Unlike the rest of us dorks, but yeah, exactly. I mean, just in terms of pure design capability, just absolute top of the top. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes total sense. Like, oh, it's good to see my line is nice and straight there. Oh well. I mean, we'll we'll survive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't want to take. Welcome to the team. I didn't want. I didn't want to take. I wanted to let Matt have at least oh, a. Okay. Matt. Here we go. Yeah, so, that's I fair. Mean, I guess I'm just, being, I'm just being too sportsmanlike. If 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 Matt started getting pulled off the board, we'd be diving for one of the later ones. It's okay. There will there will be a team Matt. Will will it be a cluster though? I guess I guess we need three for it to be a cluster. So. Yeah, we do. Okay, and then with Matt's other well, his next pick. Sorry, not his other pick. That's disrespectful. Again, another former wee lad. We gotta have, we gotta collect the lads. There we go. Although although part of me like now that now that I've made this pick, I feel like it would be better for the two wee lads to be on opposite teams so they could do a they could do like a a death match pair up. But you know that that's that's too much talent to let slide off the board. I mean, part of me also wants to see a repeat of McConnell and Petty at some point, but also part of me wants absolutely. To I also really want to see the carnage of them both being in the same Discord. That is, that is fair. <laughs> I mean, either way, the community is the winner. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the community always wins. It's like the house. It's the casino. Undefeated. Oh, uh, undefeated. Um, all right. His, his um, Dylan's... Was it his World Cup course, Montauk? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that, was, that was... Yes. That was wonderful. Um, that yeah. was a course that I thought should... I was... a. I thought it was going to get farther than it did. Um, it just ran up against a really, really good opponent. Um, it, the wheel yeah, didn't like do that, any favors. Yeah, uh, Dylan is absolutely class as a designer. Yep. And yeah, you know, again, for all you know, like speaking of class, he's going to be in them a lot this fall. So again, that is fair. Hey, I trust him. There's, there's lots of trust here. That's true. You've got two college kids. Yeah. Be between class we're, 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 and we're and... injecting that youthful exuberance in the team Is because I'm an doing? old fart now. I know. I feel I, I'm the I'm the professor. I should have all the college students. See, here's here's yeah. my question, Matt. You're you you're injecting your team with youth. What are they injecting while they're at school? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what the the popular things are in school now. I'm old. You're old. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We'll have, to, we'll have to send Matt the Beloit survey of, you know, what the kids are into these days. <laughs> there you yes. go. What, what do all of these texting shorthands mean? What is Bay? I don't know what Bay is. Yeah, you're not even going to know what the hell your um, disc, what, what's going on in your Discord, because it's going to be all in code for you. Absolutely. All I right. have dabbled in cryptography. This should be a breeze. Yeah, that's true. Okay, pick number 10. So we'll do this one, and then we'll kind of have a bit of a mini summary. Well, at, to this point. So this is Summation. Dan's pick. Summation, thank you, Professor. <laughs> Speaking of which, he's gone with J.W. Fickett. It's a good pick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a very good pick. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm just wondering how much of my Discord is just going to devolve into like, you know, just some in-depth discussion on like the sixth hole at, I don't know, Carnoustie or Basically, something. Dan's Discord is going to turn into the Golf Club Atlas forums. Basically, yeah. So wait, we, we originally, in my mock draft, I made it all about Matt drafting people just like him. And in actual fact, it's been Dan drafting people Pretty exactly much. like him. Yeah. Fine. I mean, I guess you, your only question mark there is like body of work. He came out and um, obviously his World Cup course did really, really, really well. Really nice course to shoot. But do you have any concerns there, Pithy, about I don't know, durability? How, how, I guess, how yeah, many gonna... courses has he put out? 
Um, well, I mean, last, I mean, I guess really the World Cup was his first contest, you know, that he's really done, at least since I've been a part of the community. And I thought he, you know, passed with flying colors. So I think. And he's probably had, he's probably deleted, like, or he probably has more like amazing projects just kind of festering in his courses folder that he's never gotten around to finish. You know, he's, bu he's busy, you know, lawyering and stuff, you know, so. But now that he's got some teammates to support, I think he's going to I think he's going to come through. All right, Matt, we are a quarter of the way through the draft. How do you feel about your uh, your team so far? Fantastic. Just I, I can't believe I've gotten like this many great guys in the first couple of picks. So he's Matt taken Petro Texan Nitro Puff D Dylan. It's really yeah, solid. I mean, that's that's an absolute killer's row right there. Yeah, I know. My, my, and mine suck, so... Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so, Dan so has all the architecture nerds. I mean... Oh, yeah, I know. And that and why would you want those at a contest where you're designing golf courses? Yeah. <laughs> so what we got? We got Scottish, Maddie from Canada. Uh, God, it is hard to read the red. Oh, right, yeah. I can't read uh, anything on my screen, so I didn't know. Trey, skinny post. Um, and thick it. I you got the thing thing you get with trays and skinny post isn't is also just like who knows what they're going to come up with. Like those are two of the cr most creative guys in there. I, really interested to see where they go. Yeah, we got some we got some people saying saying red, some people saying blue. Most people saying they can't read the red. Yeah, yeah kind of as we would have expected. Seems like, I, I, I will freely admit that like Matt's team, like top to bottom, has a has a more extensive track record than the guys I've drafted. Um so I'm kind of I'm kind of taking a gamble maybe. So what I'm hearing is Dan's lost the first quarter of draft. That's kind of what I'm hearing, yeah. Fair enough. This this is why you just fly by the seat of your pants. You just you know. And as Andre says, you just need to get people to build pyramids. Yes, yeah, exactly. Agreed. Worked in the signature contest, didn't it? More giant dune monsters, yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> it was so good. It yeah. was. I had to load that up. I, I hadn't played it yet. I had to load that up to see what it was all about. That was, um, that was some creativity, all right. All right. All right. Well, oh, let's let's the carry next, on. The next pick is in. Um, and from down under... Heisenberg. Uh, I just have great. men at work playing in my head now. Say his say his name. See, <laughs> yeah. Heisenberg, um, one of my favorite designers in the game right now. Uh, his yeah, last couple of courses pick. have been fantastic, absolutely fantastic. That's a hundred percent Dan being influenced by knowing he was always picking golden age guys. It's a great <laughs> pick. Love it. I, um. I think I've only played his CC course once, but man, that thing is stunning. Really mm. like it. And since everybody loves the red, I'm just going to keep using red. Because to go and switch all these again is going to be the, the most gigantic pain in the ass possible. So sorry, boys. Mm. Sounds good. Okay. Tra yeah. Trey's big on team red. Excellent. Yeah. I wonder oh, yeah. why. And, and um, speaking of Heisenberg, both of his, well, his CC and then his, he's showing off that he can do two courses for one contest. His other um, Sattler's course, they're both uh, being scheduled next week for Platin Elite. Hey, I'm, I'm all for people who can, uh, who can pump out courses once a month. Are you, though? Yes. 100%. All right. Did I? There we I, don't, I don't know if I did this, but if, maybe I'll put, hit it twice now. Back to Team Matt. This, I think, is going to be a, a huge um, presence for the locker room. You're, you need this. Absolutely. Desperately. You need this desperately. Yeah, we need we need that energy. Team Petty. Team Winners Only rides again. Oh Petty. my god, that's a reach. This has to be for the trash talk, right? Absolutely. And the energy. Yeah, that too. 
Also, that um, means that I am. I, never mind. We'll we'll save that for later. There's there's also the unpredictability. Wait, wait a second. Is that you trying to push McConnell onto Pithy's team? Absolutely. <laughs> That's like the, that is a hundred percent the most strategic move you've made so far. Yeah, I mean, you, you Petty and McConnell have to have to go go head to head, and I I take Petty in that matchup all day every day. How did, go, how, did, how did it go? How did it go last year? I mean, it went fine. I I, I liked the course. Mm. I'm just saying, who, 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 won won the cap, who won the captain's match? That's what I'm saying. Mm. The thing, I, the thing I love about Petty I mean, is you we, we have all of the Petty design ability without any of the Petty captaincy problems. Like, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, the thing I, I love about the thing I love about Petty is you have no clue what he's gonna make, and he doesn't care if you yeah. like it or not. It's beautiful. Absolutely, it's beautiful. And yeah, uh, like I, I feel a kinship with not giving a shit. Yeah. There you go. I mean, yeah. Uh, it, the the record is questionable. He's zero hey. for two on dream teams. We're yeah. gonna fix that. He's gonna be one for two now because we're gonna win. Team winners only. It's one, it's one for three. And that's how it works. Well, he also. Um... I, I said one and two, not one and oh, one of okay. two. Okay. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he had a bit of a rough dream team last year too. To be fair, but uh, hey, I don't know. Again, maybe Matt we... can turn him around. That's a record. I mean, there's a steady record. hand on the. The boat wheel, whatever you want to call it. Boat wheel works. The, the boat wheel thing. We're, 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 we're steering it we're steering it well today. Okay. And then to contrast Petty, Matt's next pick, the man with the longest name in the competition, Q. We, we, need, we need some, like, crazy batshit conspiracies on the team. What can I say? Well, and, also and, some and riddles, too. Yes, exactly. Dan Dan can't resist a good puzzle. I'm just gonna have Q put nothing but nonsense out publicly, and then let Dan try to figure it out. <laughs> you seems to be questioning that pick, Matt. So, mm. <laughs> hey, I have yeah. faith. I mean, we know we know exactly what we're doing. Oh, I and just killed of... Q. Did you? Oh, uh, it was just harsh. his name. It's tiny. <laughs> Oh uh, no! It's just come back to normal size. It was uh, just, it was just giant. Nah, Q, Q is a good pick there. I think he was, he was at like the top of my like second tier, if you will, of just like guys that you know could really make a breakthrough and come up with a stunning course. I I thought his his Russian one was so good in terms of environment. Like loads of good stuff coming there. Oh yeah, yeah. Q, I, 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 I can't I can't really trash talk. Uh... I can't trash talk Q. <laughs> Plus, he can. You've got a scheduler. In fact, mm -hmm. has Matt got two schedulers now? He's got Tex and yeah. he's got Q. So, so that's tour spot sewn up. Absolutely. I mean, hey, who who is going to be able to tell all of the the newer guys on the team that are a little more green to um uh, you know how to how to get their uh, their courses tour worthy? Yeah. Good point. Okay. Oh, is just... I'm, I'm, is I'm being told in the chat that we're going too quickly and we're too far ahead. Are we? Dan and I are too oh. decisive. I mean, oh, sorry, by me. It, yeah. It, it, yes. It, you've to you've just told me pick seventeen. We've just yeah. made pick thirteen. Yeah. No, I don't need yeah. any time. Yeah. I'm you're you're go. the one that's going fast, Matt. I'm not going fast. I know. I'm, looking, I'm trying to remember where the hell we are so I get this right for the next one. Draft like I play decisively. We're on, we're on, we're on 14. Yeah, we're, we're, we're running this like a Mad F uh, tour round. I <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> was already in the hole and Dan is barely off the tee. Let's go. Obviously, obviously I, need to, I need to start so, slow playing this a Matt, bit. Matt, do you do everything quick? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> There's That's some the things I don't do quick. All right. The question. All right. No, we should probably make it. Pick <laughs> fourteen. Yes, now. Doctor. Like, thank you for explaining the obvious. Okay. Um, now we're back to Dan's team, Team Red, and with the fourteenth overall pick, he has gone for Jives. 
I have some questions. Okay. Are you are you worried about the planting? Or the Divot Derby? Or I think Divot Derby has run its course, so I mean I'm I'm not too worried about that. Um See, and... you, they're adding new courses every month. I don't know what you're on I about. know. I'm, and I'm just I'm I'm working to design the most addictive Divot Derby course there is. Like we we are gonna real well, real I mean, yeah, you're, you're, des- you're, design- you're designing it, so obviously, yeah, so that should keep them away from it for a decent amount. So oh, that's, that's probably fair. fine. I mean, I did no, no, no. I mean, you look, you saw the slide. I did find a picture where he had done some planting, so there is evidence it has happened. It's just photographic pretty- evidence. Yes, just need to. Yeah, you just like need Bigfoot or a UFO. No, you know, I've, it's it's, it's I've very seen, grainy. You can't. I've seen, I've seen the town. Sure I've, seen the ta- I've seen the town he's putting in on his CC course, so I know he's got it in him. That's fair. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did he tell you what he was planning on doing for this contest? He did not. Okay. Well, you're you're gonna you're in for a wild ride, my friend. Uh, Pith's like picks the... not been what I was expecting. No. I mean, me yeah, me neither. You just said I picked the you p- I picked all the architecture nerds. You weren't expecting that. <laughs> no, not really. I don't know. Well, yeah. I don't know. Go and prove me wrong. Pick someone different. Well, I think he did. I mean, if if Matt's strategy was what Ben suggested, it worked. It's funny. I I, I was expect. I didn't want to like publicly say it because then you know then Dan wouldn't draft McConnell until really really late. But he just drafted him immediately for me. So like. Love it. Like we, we were joking that you could like slide a pick into the other team, what what we would pick, and I mean like Dan just did it for me. I can just slide McConnell into into red team. Oh jeez, you hear that, Rhino? <laughs> yeah, let's go trash talk. Yeah, I think Rhino just got all the motivation he needed there. And, I mean, yeah, I mean what? he's basically that's, that's the exact, he's, this is, he's, this is, he's basically the opposite materiality wise, but. One thing I do like about Pithy's draft a lot, he has not yet drafted anyone that has personal issues with Matt. He's got a lot of people He's saved leaving up. All of those. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Yeah, that's, that's, that's well played. <laughs> Be a shame when Rhino Scores gets banned for the name. <laughs> 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 oh, God, that's funny. Right. Okay. I I mean, are we we haven't really actually talked about Rhino. Just no. We should, we probably should. I mean, obviously, winning captain from last year brings brings a lot of experience in managing a Discord, which is mm-hmm. which is great. Um, dealt with some tricky characters in Team Red as well last year. I I gather pe- people have people have said. Um, can I mean? There's some water plane issues. There's I don't know. I mean, can he build a course outside of Low Carolina? Mm-hmm. Who knows? No. I mean, we saw the Andorra effort. Actually, no. actually that is true. I did yeah. kind of. I that's probably a little quirky, I, but I liked it. Yeah. I guess I got a hole in one on it, so maybe that's why I picked him. Yeah. Dan has good memories. <laughs> Matty also mentions alcoholism. That is. Yeah, yeah that's it, true. It's a it's a double edged sword. Yeah. Actually, I got a hole in one on his um no no tempo so. Interesting. Not that anybody cares, but whatever. We're all really impressed. Yeah, thanks. All right. I'm going to head back to Team Blue. And, well, I think Matt's starting to get an attempt at a cluster. I believe we have a cluster. There are three now. Are there? Hey. Yeah. Oh, that's We're done. We got a cluster. Who that, Matt? In cluster. I love this pick. I... Yeah, it's it's. I mean, we get a cluster and we get one of the best designers left on the board with all of the clubhouse uh, expertise to bring to the team. And just like every, everything's there, like you saw the yeah the picture by you, it, like can create stunning environments. Always looks to do something different. Um, really interesting. Oh, and definitely on the way up. 
Why yeah. can't? What I are you What are you gonna do? With, what are you gonna try doing when you when you try and like get with him in the voice channel though? That's fine. Not gonna work out. I was that we have enough loud voices in this in this team to you know we we can have a quiet one. That's okay. Oh, did he get an Xbox friend for Nitro, or are they on different consoles? I I I mean I forget. I believe he's on Xbox still. Yes. Ah. There we go. I mean, it, the blind luck approach to drafting is all all panning out. Absolutely. Yeah, what are you uh, using over there, Matt? Like playing cards, some kind of Rubik's cube to flip. Uh, you know. I think we just I think we just got a doll of pithy with needles stuck in it. Just oh, a bunch of D20s yeah. that yeah. are rolling over here, yeah. Alright, and then Less uh, yeah. the I, the I was, Yeah, I was I was in between. I'll take that as a compliment. Be honest. I was I was I I was very in between McConnell and Houdat Matt. Uh, uh, okay. It's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. I think we're now this is where You have I... chosen poorly. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, this is where, the, where I think the draft gets really interesting, though, because this, this is... is now where you are picking guys oh, yeah. on the way up. You're trying to find yeah. that next Nitro or whoever that you that will make a really good course that maybe was... We, we have a team full of mentors now to, to, to extract the most out of all of our up-and-comers. Real, real leadership material. Question for the boys in the Discord. Thank you. All right, pick is in. Canyon, can you pick a name, please? Boom! The Man, the yay. ultimate in memes. I'm not gonna lie, that's worth like five spots on its own. Is just like the trash talk king. He he makes the Discord so much more fun. Yeah, uh, like just... that alone. Like any anywhere Canyon is is the party boat. That's that's what we're working on. I believe I have the originator in the party boat, as in boat stands, that is, on my team. So I'm all set there. Yeah, that's fair. You do. Well, there we go. Enjoyed Ooh. that pick. That's, yeah. Once I figured out who it was. <laughs> all right. So what's that? No, 17. Okay. I'll we'll probably do the same thing at 20, right? Yeah, I think so. I think s certainly like 10, th 10 through 20 has got a lot of surprises. It's been fun. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so now we're back to Team Red. The 18th pick, Dan selects Lisi. Really, really like this pick as well. I think this is... Uh, I got a lot of faith in... Faith and Lisi. I think I had him second in the World Cup side contest. Um, so, and yeah, his CC course is really good. Um, mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I think uh, happy to get him. You know, he's a he's a solid middle of the team guy. I think. Yeah, I think definitely on the way up as well. Like, clearly, really works hard. If you look at his progress from, I think, rookie to the World Cup side contest to the CC. Mm -hmm. I, Exactly the kind of guy you want. No, big fan of that pick. I'm gonna use the restroom. I'll be right back. All right. Well, All we'll, right. We'll, okay. we'll wait for a sec before we uh, reveal that. I thought we were breaking at twenty, but Matt. Uh, oh, no, I mean, blue team. There is your captain. Isn't His that? work is done. Yeah. He's just going to abandon you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He's I mean. Look, Look, let's do it through 18 picks. I mean, chat, how are we feeling? Would you uh, Are we liking Team Red based on what you see? Team Blue? And also, I guess, another question. Who is the best designer left on the board? Who would you be picking next? There's a ton of good guys out there. Mm -hmm. Maddie's saying Red all day. He might be a little biased. Maddie's got a vested interest. Baby bull for somebody who should be um, a lot of baby bull being brought up. Um, mm. McTrees, Manatee, Trail Ducker. 
There's a lot of people saying Baby Bull, there's Granger. Yeah, that's another good one. Yeah. I think there's a lot of talent still out there. Yeah. Panda from Zach. Sparty. Yeah, after that links, yeah. Oh, Matt's back. What? Tree yes, City yes, I am. Okay. It's well, everything fast. Now that Matt's back, we can reveal it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yes, I just had two glasses of water in the last hour, so. Okay, okay 19th Thanks. pick, going to Team Red. McTrees. Good uh, pick. Another designer I really like, I, I to this day will um, say that I think that Revival is a criminally, unra un criminally underrated golf course um, from Rookie last year. I think I only played the betas of pretty much all of those. So. I, I, I really enjoyed that course. Hmm. He's, uh, he's definitely someone who reviews with care, uh, so uh, I think he's going to be an excellent guy to have in the Discord. Mm. Hair and honesty. Definitely. I can't wait for the deep dives on like Fazio and uh and Reese Jones on your uh, on your Discord. This well, is but he'll, he'll have to play your courses first to do those. But... Oh I mean... crap, I put the wrong <laughs> sorry, I uh that's a screw up. Zucker does make a good point that Sorry, sure Jack, you... I might put McTrees over. That's just me screwing up. That's got nothing to do with anything you hate to see it hey it's another anyway. it's not a real stream unless we have technical difficulties that's right if i don't have a technical screw up i didn't actually stream yeah i am in no room to or i have no room to judge so there we go i, mean, I just i just Dan, looked at the chat and also so. technically gets gerald epe probably with that that pick as well Allegedly, mm -hmm. I, I think I have. I think I have several, you know, several members yeah. of the Gerald Collective. Uh... <laughs> who who all is on the Gerald Collective? Oh who my knows? God! Yeah. They they had a prediction for if I would how long it would take me to screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's and amazing. The, prediction, the prediction's been paid out because it was twenty was the over under. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and screw you, by the way. <laughs> I love it. That's good. All right. Um, and then the other designer. Wait, no. Now we're back. This is number twenty. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I I was one off screwing you over there, Forrest. Oh well. McTress. I like McTress. Let's go. Okay. Going to Team Blue. There was a lot of call for him. I'm not sure why. Oh, I know exactly why. I just noticed McConnell uh, cashing in the um, yeah. pick next pick course. The course. <laughs> uh, but Baby Bull. Baby Bull is, uh, is going blue. Absolutely. Go. I like that. Talented designer, wonderful human being. You can't go too far wrong. He is a wonderful counter for Matty from Canada. Yeah, like no. in personality, right. absolutely. He's not gonna we have, we have a wide shot, range anyway. in the Discord. Yeah, you, you you probably need someone to soften. Soften the I mean, it, yeah, yeah, somebody to reel in Kenyon. Absolutely. Mm. Maybe occasionally, not. just let him lose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe this will be the time Baby Bull just breaks out and just. Let's everybody have yeah, it. Yeah, we're 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 training we're training uh baby bull to be a little a little more bitter, a little more cynical, so Okay. You know, they'll they'll play off each other well. That's twenty picks, boys. Um we kinda already did it at eighteen, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we'll just we'll keep going. Um and now I get to with the twenty first pick going to team blue. I get to where is it? I get to completely rectify my screw up because now it's MVP Manatee. Another the old sea cow. 
Another guy that really kind of burst onto the scene last year's rookie contest. Absolutely. With, with Avalon. I mean, I haven't quite seen his... He hasn't dropped his CC course yet, has he? No. I don't think so. Nah. I'm a little behind on CC courses. I've had a lot of stuff going on in the last week or two. When do I get my judging you assignments? You are doing such <laughs> a good job. Soon. <laughs> yeah, you're not nailing only, that. Not only did I get the wrong guy, I put him on the wrong team. It's a double ammy. I'll be screw up. CC course will be released dead one day. Ah, good man. Excellent. Excellent. That's no, a good pick. Um, Jax, uh, he's a good designer. He's probably a little bit underrated, in my opinion. Mm. Um, this could be where he really establishes himself as one of the best. No pressure, Jack. Okay, so we head back to Team Red. And with his next pick, pick number 22 now, it's Honey Badger Hacker. It's a good value pick, I think. I think it's a really good pick. Yeah. So is this, I because I, I was zipping through all of these courses, that his CC course, I think? Is it? That yeah, looks like it, yeah. Sandy Boots, I want to say. Yes, I, haven't, yes. I haven't played a ton of the CC courses just because the game's kind of unplayable for me at the moment. Um, but obviously, he came off Hideki as well, which was just quality, like environment yeah, stuff. Was. Off the chart. Um, and yeah. Like, another one that's on the rise for sure. Yeah, I really like that pick. Okay, I'm just trying to get to his name so I can move him over. There he is. He's going red. Wes likes Honey Badger. And Wes yeah. is on Matt's team, yeah. so. Yeah. So he, that's, he, that's, he, a, that's real. Pretty. Honey Badger is a great pick. His, his last that two was... um, courses have been great. Yeah. The steel? Yeah, yeah. I had, yeah, I'd say so. I had him at, like, I think I had him at 17, so. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that, that was good. if Dan didn't pick him, I was picking him next round. So uh, and then Hideki, I mean, of all the national treasure courses, you, pretending you've got a plan. I know. I, right? I, I have the next couple planned out. Okay. Well, uh, so I knew I knew you were gonna take him next because he's in the he's in the he's in that he's like <laughs> one of the last ones in that tier for you. So yes, I know. Why do you think I picked him? Well, we're gonna get to, we are gonna get to a breadboard scenario where you don't know anyone's name. Yep. Me? Hmm. I know all the names. I just might I just might forget what courses they designed. <laughs> oh, That's exactly that what Ryan did. <laughs> That's okay. I know your name. I don't know what you did, but I know your name. So that's there all you that go. I looked, I ranked them all. I just there's a lot of courses to keep straight. And then Pithy's and pick number twenty three. He has gone with Graham. It's a solid pick. Yeah. I didn't. Graham is probably the first of the guys that I didn't know a whole lot about uh, going into this. But then I played his his courses and his CC course. I believe it was just that uh, coastal one was you know was really good. So I thought I thought you know he was definitely worth um, worth picking here. Yeah, I second all of that. Um, I haven't obviously I'm in the edge players his cc course but also a designer on the rise and i it, quiet doesn't doesn't have a huge presence on the forum i don't think but courses have been getting better and better and better yeah he, he's, he's not one that comes out and really um beats his chest about anything he just consistently um, puts out good golf courses good Jordy lad too i don't know if he's fully Jordy, but he's definitely northeast All right, where are we going next? Well, we're going over to Matt's team, so Team Blue. And with the 24th pick, he has gone with A. Granger. 
Buddha nailing it right there. That's that was that was one of them. That's a steal for me. I, that's absolutely yeah. Like, I mean, there's I, so much value in in like the middle range. It's really hard to go too wrong. I'm 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 a huge fan of Granger's. I thought his National Treasure course was great. I mean, it it didn't lag for me, so it was fine. Absolutely. Um, his his very first course, what was it? Playa Maravilla. Oh, it was really good. Um, he's done a ton of good stuff in as well. Last, he he was really unlucky. He came up against Mayday, I think, in the singles last year. Um, for Dream Team, Blackwood Park was good. Like environment was class. Just getting better and better. Absolutely. Yeah, his, his um his national treasure was the one in Germany that you didn't realize was in Germany, right? That was the. Like that was the goal was to create a course that you didn't realize could be in Germany. Yeah, I believe so. It was like kind of a coastal. You would have been forgiven for thinking part of it was in like Carolina or something. It was. It was really yep. good. It was really good that. Um, I thought it was a cool way of doing it too. Yeah, agreed. Um, right, next one. Oh, just because I hit the button doesn't mean. Anyways, I thought we'd said nice enough nice things. Yeah, that's true. Okay, and then twenty fifth pick overall going to Team Blue. Crazy. Absolutely. Amazing. I mean, we we have we have the, the Arctic Fury disciple. We know he's going to make a great looking course if he can steer him toward. Uh, you know, some good playability decisions, and we got an absolute home run right there. Sculpt some bunkers. Yeah, exactly. It, it, who who better mean, to teach bunker sculpting? Yeah. I like that Matt seems to be shrinking as this stream continues. Oh, it's because yeah. my yeah my <laughs> oh my phone mount is uh, is is failing on me slightly. Sorry. How, how's that? You've grown. It's it it, it it was it's been working for four hours and it's slowly sliding backwards. Yeah, uh, Matt has gone with. I the noticed it too, where it's like I was up to my neck. So yeah, Matt Matt's gone with the old MIOB um, webcam of the phone, kind of jigged in. I was debating buying one for this, but I'd probably use it exactly once, and it's just like, oh, I'll just I can, I can rig my phone up and make that a webcam easy enough. It took me five minutes. Yeah. Shit it's just the actual already. mount is very shoddy. <laughs> I'll take some pictures of it. It's hilarious. I like that shot. Stone's got a shot there for you. <laughs> exactly. It's listing a little bit. Oh, I have not been keeping up on chat. The ship's in your chat. Okay. Um... Oh, man, this is literally just what I was wearing today. Team Red. I'm not dressing up for this at all. <laughs> Team Red with no pick number 26. Pretty sure he means this. Sleepy Panda. There we go. Yeah, another, another, I mean, that we're kind of getting to the guys who I wasn't very familiar with. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, it was. I, there were a lot of pe new new folks I discovered um, in doing this this scouting because I haven't I haven't I've kind of been offline since the World Cup and so I know a lot of other folks come into the game so. Um, so Amber yeah. looks delighted from chat. Love that. You you make yeah, happy to have you, dude. Making dreams come true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a very good pick. Definitely one I had my eye on. I think the panda was panda in CC as well. I feel like that was a CC course that I pulled a picture from. There's been so Not many in, CC courses. Pretty sure, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, if only we had someone in here who might be running the contest and knows something about it. Yeah, I know that'd be helpful. Uh huh. All right. Did and you maybe i'm just i'm just trying to find orion i need to i need to get him back on camera because that's what the people want is it is it though absolutely i mean we we're, we're hitting we're hitting the tail end of this we haven't had the orion cameo we need to fix that the people want it or, or the matt wants it Both. all right well orion is orion is way more popular than i am 
Well, that's I mean, that's yeah, not that's sh- not something we can argue really. Proud of. That's, no, that's fair. Yeah, here. Right. Well, and then going to well, team while you head. go over Dan's garbage picks, uh, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab. With uh, the next pick, Pithy takes Spartan for night. Good old Sparty. He just dropped a course. Was when did his course come out? His most recent course. Just days ago, I think. Yeah. I want to say yesterday or two days ago. I, I played it yesterday. I don't know if it was brand new though. It was really good. Yeah. It's no, really good. Come here. Hey, oh. Matt needs a girlfriend or something, man. Jeepers. <laughs> He's had a good draft up until now, and then it's just hey. lost all yeah. his credit. Hey, hi. Oh, it looks like my kitty. There we go. Yeah, I'm I'm a huge fan of the Sparty pick. He's been yeah. working really, really hard Hello. on his strategy and um the Lynx course was something completely different and l- like I think all of us that have played it loved it. Just yeah. so much fun. Really cool stuff. And it was just um, a pure just pure golf. Like it, it what there wasn't a whole nothing extraneous on it. It was just a Lynx golf course that played like a Lynx golf course. Yeah. Really cool. Um, yeah, it was def- definitely a new direction for him, and um, uh, and I'd seen him stream a, uh, some of his uh, streaming of the construction on Twitch, and I thought it was, you know, really. De- I thought it was definitely worth you know, spending a pick on him for sure. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I think I think that's a really good captain pick combo. Yeah, that's... there's a lot. There's a lot that will work there. Okay, so my next one is my last actual team member that's not an alternate. Yeah, true. So we're at 30, that's then a r- reminder that we, we're drafting 15 for the team and then five alternates. And if someone has to drop out, which unfortunately can happen for all sorts of circumstances, um, then the captains would decide from one of their five alternates when they publish which of them would go into the main team proper. Right. There you go. So, hey. this is then Matt's 14th pick? Yes. Okay. And it is... Axel. Absolutely. We're getting some great value picks in at the moment. Axel has absolutely put himself out there as... I mean, he is, he's, he's a guy that Design League has helped tons. Um, and he's taken that ball and run with it. Yeah, I think the quality of guys, you know, at this point in the draft is really, I think, I think it speaks to, you know, how good design league has been for the community. Cause it seems like it's really, you know, you're just making design these small courses, getting feedback on it. And I think it's, it's really brought up the quality of uh, courses that we're seeing. So um, yeah, so yeah, it made made my decisions kind of tough here at the end. And and for Axel, I mean, his breakout was Jackalope Trail, which started out as a six hole design league, and then he made eighteen out of it, and it was really quite good. So um, it's a good pick. And then yeah, his CC course is really good too. Q makes a great point there. I haven't played that one yet. Um. Yeah. Okay. And then this is the last, mi- like, uh, whatever main member, I guess, of Team Blue. Yes, I think everyone from here is. Uh, it's an alternate, right? Uh, yes. So this will be the last. I think so. There's tons of great picks left for for alternates. Okay. Okay. He and went down. There so go. with his fifteenth pick. Matt goes with Australian. Yep. I am stunned he did not go earlier. Yeah, I've, I'm. I've, yeah, I, I was kind of holding off because there's other people I won first, but Australian's a great pick. Yeah, I mean, say, so, I mean, he hasn't done a contest in a long time, but has kept putting out really cool courses. Uh, gets great environments playability like they're always really fun to play there's like there's a lot there and great seeing back doing contests as well yeah just love that pick i think puffy will be happy he was shouting for him for about 25 minutes absolutely 
Did I drag Axel to the wrong team? I might have. No, no he's on the blue no, team. No, I'm, I'm on the right. He's in the right team. He's on Matt's team. Oh, what, do you so have another have... prediction up for something else I'm going to screw up? <laughs> Sorry, Ben. No, I was going to say, is, is 30 our Mr. Irrelevant, or is 40 our Mr. Irrelevant? 40. Oh, I don't know. 40? Forty. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess it depends on how you wanna, you know. I think forty feels more. Forty. Forty feels more irrelevant. That's not the right word, but more in fitting with the um, the, the thematic uh, whatever yeah, something. I mean, in fairness, it's better to be forty than forty-one. This is yes, true. that's fair. But so. So yeah, last member of the the next pick is for the last member of the full team proper. Um before we get into five alternates each time. Okay. Chat, who who you got for the last main pick? Ooh, we got a lot of people. There's a wide range of names. Yeah. Which there's, is not yeah surprising. There's, there's a lot of options there still. Uh, that's the thing. Like the depth around this. I, I agonized over this one. I really did. Mm -hmm. I mean, both of you are going to have some really strong alternates. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked there's guys these good, that, that, this good that are falling to alternate spots. There's just so much talent in the field. Yeah, the yeah. depth is great. Okay, well, let's reveal it. And then this one, the order really matters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I got to make sure I get it right. The 30th yeah. pick. GCS Insane. There we go. Rest right. and drug Dan, what, what was the thing yeah. there, knowing this was your last um, guaranteed uh, spot? Yeah, just, I mean, he he makes really cool environments, and he's also not afraid to think outside the box. So. Um, and you know he's also brings a certain a certain carefree attitude, as it were. <laughs> uh, I love so... the chat right now. It's great. <laughs> I thought his course last stream team El Dorado was really cool because we just got the new yeah. game and then, yeah, and he was the guy who happened to throw, throw like step and pine trees together. Yeah, like, really cool. Oh yeah, I very much stole that idea later. It's a great one. How'd that work out for you? It worked fine, I guess. It's the only idea I had. The, it was the one that he that you did the one you did Cherry Brook for, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> sadly. Hmm. Okay, so there's our. Well, schedule. it was more than I, I. I blew my load and finished Cherry Brook in like a week and a half, and I would have had to sit on it for two months. So. Matt, what you do in the privacy of your own home, buddy. <laughs> um. So there is the official team if nobody drops out that is your dream team competition right yep so what what are we thinking guys um i'll start with with matt how do you feel about your team so far or about your team as it really is right good now? Yeah, great it's it's been awesome i'm yeah i'm pleasantly I I, surprised that matt I, <laughs> has worked <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I, t I knew I took a kind of an unconventional approach to the early rounds. Um, and, you know, I definitely was looking at trajectory and, and not necessarily... Spin control, too? You trajectory, know, spin folks. control. Yeah, exactly. Painful. Yeah, you know, it's a you know, dad thing. You know that. Sorry, go ahead, Dan. That was basically all I had to say. How, so, how do you feel about your team as it stands? Oh, how do I feel about my team? Yeah, I, 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 um, like I said, I took a slightly unconventional approach to the first few rounds, but I am confident it is going to work out. Okay. It's um, it's interesting. It's not how I thought it was going to go. No, I mean, I, I would say Pithy started the surprises like picks two and three, wasn't yep. it? Yeah, and just kind of yeah, like really good team assembled. I mean, and I also I had certain 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 folks tell me like whose I you know whose ideas and creativity I really admire a lot, telling me they had ideas they were excited about, 
and that kind of, you know. Nice. So maybe I kind of went with my heart more than my head there, but I think it's going to work out. I can't, I can't judge you for that. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, should we get some alternates in case stuff happens? Thanks. So. There's some, there's some Absolutely. really good guys. Okay. Let's get his final ten done. Love it. So then, first alternate for Team Red is. Let me find him, a good Canadian boy. Seb. Dan, is thinking? Good... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I played a CC course, and again, he kind of. He and. GCS are kind of similar like he's obviously GCS has been established for a little bit longer but um you know lots of really creative ideas um and you know I think with with you know a stable of uh, experienced designers around to to give him some feedback I think he's going to produce something pretty pretty great so um so yeah I I he was one he definitely kind of you know jumped out at me Another one of those people that I hadn't heard about until this competition started. And mm -hmm. um, well, really, he's, really he's another one of our Design League graduates, I think. Right. I playing yeah. his way back and really liking his course when, whenever I did that judging. Um, yeah, that's where I, I first saw him. To both of you, is now that we're into the alternates, is this now where you start taking a bit more, like, I don't know, flyers on people because you know that you're basically probably choosing only one or two or five if, they, if someone drops out? Or you yeah, still absolutely. Same, same draft strategy, or just like a little bit. Yeah, more? honestly, I'm just I'm just kind of drafting as if I was dra as if I was drafting twenty guys. Um, Fair. But I'm definitely picking some of the guys I think have like some more upside that aren't necessarily sure things. I don't, I don't know what the I'd rules say I'm, are. I'd for... say I'm doing a little bit of both. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's get to it. So now we're back to Team Blue. Yeah. Uh, where is he? All right. So Matt's first alternate is Shotstone. Just played yep. his CC course today. Um, there's a lot to like about it. He's he showed a lot of skills in the designer with that course. Yeah, uh, that's that's like top of my list for people who I think show a ton of upside and, you know, would be great with just like a little bit of direction in a couple places. I really wish he'd made the top 30. Like, I'm going to say too. this about like, all of the next, all of these 10 guys, but um, just someone who I think will do really well. Okay. And then don't forget to do the sound. Uh, Matt's second alternate is Alan Eastwood. Yeah, somebody, somebody I know will make a really solid course. So, you know, I think uh, I was impressed with the CC course, and I think he's moving in the right direction. So I think uh, a lot of upside there. I can't argue yeah, I think, with that. I think visuals are always great. Like, Yeah, again, somebody who really knows how to plant and is kind of finding his way toward, like, some really solid course, like, like the off course stuff is perfectly fine, and it's just like the on course stuff has always traditionally been a little bit of an issue. And I think I think I see a lot of things that are moving in the right direction. And you know, I think we really, uh, I think we should see some interesting things there. Hundred percent. All right. Oh, a little trash talk going on in there. We'd love to see it. Hi, McConnell. <laughs> I mean, someone has to. <laughs> McConnell, good lord. Um, and then where are we? We are back to Team Red. So second alternate for Pithy is Frederick. A great one. Yeah. Just I only learned of Frederick not long ago at all, but um, a lot of stuff going on there. That's good. Yeah, and this is this is one where I've I've been hearing his name a lot from folks whose opinions I uh, 
opinions I respect. And so um, I'm definitely, I kind of decided to take that into account as well. So, so yeah, I think even as an alternate, you know, with him in the discord, I think it, I think he, I think he still has quite a bit to contribute. Cool. Yeah, I mean that's that's gotten a really good reaction from from mm -hmm. chat. So Pithy seems to have done something right. Well, and I mean Frederick, he's a good guy. Period. Um, so people are going to be happy for him, but also he he's doing a lot of good things. So it, it's it's a good guy to have. Uh, good guy to have in the locker room. If the mm -hmm. alternates are allowed in there, right? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. We can do that. Okay, and then with Dan's third um, alternate, he's gone with Pat Lavar. Solid pick. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Like yeah, that. another 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 kind of uh, I think something of a golden age enthusiast. Uh, based on I played a uh, Teleria a couple times. Um, really enjoyed that. So. So yeah, I think he's gonna produce something pretty pretty good. Yeah, always like, often involved in streams, like chatting as well. Like you know, oh, yeah. always, like love to see that. Yeah, he's uh, he's a fixture in my stream, which I definitely appreciate. Um, another great guy, another great guy. But yeah, you see him in other streams as well, and he's he's always participating. So, um, it's yeah, cool to see a guy like that in here. Back to blue. Yep. And Matt's third alternate is. He is a good Geordie lad. Rich NUFC. Yep. Who is the lads, Rich? Good man. I I would have had him going a lot higher, but there's such that that depth of field. I really like his courses. Um. I think visuals visuals getting better and better, and they're pretty strong to begin with. Like, yeah, a lot actually, of upside there. This is one where I'm really quite surprised he's not in the top fifteen. Yeah. Um, particularly now, I might be getting people mixed up, but his CC course was it was it was quite <laughs> it was quite the um, quite the risk he took, and I felt like it it came off pretty well. Okay, and then Matt's fourth. Uh, bear with me, guys. I got a few things I got to scroll through to find people. Okay, Matt's no fourth worries. alternate is Tan Man. Yeah, that one's uh, another another one I've been keeping an eye on for a while. Yeah, I mean, this is the this was the National Treasure Norway one, right? The but, yep. Got the oh, flag yeah. out there right on the first hole. Viking Klubens. Yeah. Viking Klubens yeah. Grotta. Grotta, I think, yeah. Um, the rock work on there is stunning. Just like a really cool environment. Given the right direction, I think you've got a lot going. Definitely yeah. high upside. No, that's a cool pick. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that course. Um, and I crowds love that course. And I, I really like the story behind it, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, back to Team Red. So this is Dan's fourth alternate? Yes, sir. Benny. Come on down, Benny. Yeah. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Yeah. Uh... So yeah, I first learned about Benny's work when he designed those Burning Bridges courses, and uh, yeah, that those greens were so I was kind of shocked to see it from a newcomer. Um, yeah. And so I think um, you know he's young. He'll I think he'll take direction really well, and I think um, looking forward to seeing what he what he puts what he puts forward. Okay. Yeah, definitely. 
Yeah, that first one was it like the winged foot style. Yes. Green. Really bold, really cool. Um what What was his course earlier on where he made it he had a par three in it as well? That wasn't Burning Bridge, was it? Yeah, that was one. Was that it? Was one of his. Mm, I know it was one of his. I'm just thinking there might have been another one I'm thinking of. Like a tournament style course. Mm. It's getting late for me, I'm old. Um <laughs> as Ben sits there and goes, Oh really? It's fine. <laughs> late for yeah. you, is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Dan's last alternate. We gotta have somebody to blame on Team Red. So it's Pablo. Yeah. Big fan of this pick. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Pablo. I think Pablo predates just about all of us. Uh, certainly, uh, yeah, us all, absolutely. Um, in the community, he's been, you know, around forever, and and he's he's like his la he still gets better with his you know with each publish, and I think I believe he he was on. I can't remember which team he was on last year, but I think the fact that he that he's that he's got picked as an alternate just kind of speaks to how deep, you know, the the pool was of designers this year. Definitely. Yeah, he he was good. He was on Blue Discord last year, and I, a lot of us really really enjoyed Mario Nostrum. I think it got some tough matchups, um, but really cool course. Yeah. Pablo's always good for uh, some really good courses. Definitely. For sure. All right. So we are at Mr. Irrelevant now. Mr. Irrelevant. Know. Okay, chat. Who Who's it going to be? I'm seeing some bear, some duck. Uh, I don't know. Who Tyson or Owens. And, Tyson. And so one. Tyson is trail ducker. Owen is course design HQ. Jive says Gerald. Gerald has already gone. He's my yeah. trash. Ducker. <laughs> Maddie HD. says the community. The community always wins. A lot of we people still don't know who Ducker. runs that account. That's the best account we've got. <laughs> right. Should we, um, should we put Matt in the misery? Yeah, we should. Okay. The final person being drafted this year. For the 2021 Dream Team contest for TGC Tours, brought to you, never mind, Jay Colick. Love Welcome it. to the team. Oh, there we go. There so we've we got go. our fi final pick in. Um, so, yeah, congrats, like guys who were selected, great to have you on board. Um, obviously, we said at the start that we weren't, unfortunately, going to be able to accommodate everyone in the way that we did last year. 57 guys was just more than we had planned, and it's just gonna, it was going to take too much. Um, so the guys who are not in it, hopefully, I, I appreciate that might be disappointing, but take it in the right way. It's just a really deep field. Um, and, yeah, hopefully that's just let's not go through a hissy fit it's it's funny for like five minutes and everyone else but you'll regret it after a day or so um so chat who are we who are we feeling is, has edged this one i'm i'm seeing uh, what are we going with red or blue blue all day i'm i'm feeling very happy with this team you're a little biased matt I, i'm allowed to be so is Jack. So is Pat. Yeah, I think um, I think kind of the I think there's a decent amount of parity between the top uh, I don't know six or seven guys on each team, and then I think um, I think it's really going to come down to to kind of those you know the the guys that are filling out the team. I think I you know you are so that's... bad at trash talk. <laughs> And I'm saying that that's where I dominated the draft. So okay, okay look, I'll do Pithy's job for him because I really like the red team and what he's got. I think Scottish was a great pick early on. I toyed with him oh, being yeah. like right up the top at one or two. I thought that sets the tone of. Like, I knew if I didn't take him, Matt was getting him, so I had yeah. to do it. Absolutely, and I think where then Maddie from Canada has just come off like the best course he's made. Questions: Is it going to oh, be yeah. the best course he does make? 
Um, mm. But it was a really cool course for his CC. Um, and then just kind of kept filling that out. I think where Pithy's team took off for me is like those middle rounds. Um, you got some really good guys in there, like particularly from, I, I love the Lisi pick. And then the picks from there on, I thought you got a really good value at the bottom end. Um, and as we saw last year, like it can come all the way down to the captain's matchup at the end. So those bottom yeah. end guys later on really matter. Um, yeah. I, uh, Wayne, what do you see about blue? The blue? I, I mean, there's there's so much potential for some awesome chemistry on that team. You've got, I mean, Petro and Dylan, um, you know they're going to get along really well. Um, you've got the most recent contest winner in Tex. Um, Puff, Puff D is always great. Kudat, um, Baby Bull's going to you know keep everybody happy. I really feel like Manatee's ready to fully break out into being just an elite designer. Um, a Granger's creating solid courses all time. Krizzy's going to bring the looks. Um, I mean... Axel's another guy that... Sorry, I can't see my screen. <laughs> Axel's, <laughs> that's, Axel's another, that's fine. It's tiny. Um, Axel's another guy who could really break out. He kind of already has. And then, I mean, there's some solid alternates there with, you know, Shotstone and Allen and the three other guys I can't see. Um, I, it's, I, I honestly, I think I, I'm expecting another close... Uh, I'm expecting another close contest this year. Yeah. I think right at the top of red as well, you got, um, I come back to JC and Skinny, that double pick was a mm -hmm. lot of fun for me because like, the potential for what that could be is just so high in yeah. terms of like, creativity and what have you. And then the alternates, I think that you got, you got five really good alternates on each team. I'm sure if, if we have a man down moment, we've got a load of people to step up. Yeah. Yeah. Then... I'm, I'm really excited about this. It's it's gonna Should be, be fun to see how it uh, turns out. Absolutely. Yeah. So in terms of what happens next, um, we were just chatting about this beforehand. Probably the best way, guys who've just been drafted or drafted as alternates, um, captains will make contact with you very shortly, just uh, via a uh, probably a TGC tours message on the forums. Makes yeah, that was my plan. Um, and they'll send you a link to a Discord. Obviously, now goes that saying. It, uh, this is a team event like what goes on in that discord is for your team only please don't be the rat wes or just tell everybody what's going on or share pictures of your own course dylan um just keep it to yourselves um because that's part of what makes this so much fun um i think we're we're completely saying that if you want to stream and captains are okay with your streaming design that's absolutely fine um please do go for it i'd suggest just running your course idea past your captain first of all just because we want to try to ensure there's that team chemistry thing that we uh, team cohesion that we need for the foursomes round um but captains will send you out that discord link and then they'll kind of talk you through um ideas etc and we originally said we were going to have a little bit of a three days grace period or so where you couldn't start designing actually we're going to let you go straight away so um you've got from now until december the first is when the window opens we've got a short window for publish between december 1st december 14 where we just dominate forums with great courses every single day um because that's a lot of fun it lets other courses breathe and then then we go from there we'll have a matchup stream and yeah we work out who really won the draft absolutely any final words from our captains matt no team blue, let's go. Um, this is going to be uh, a lot of fun. I'm very happy with uh, with my team from uh, top to bottom, and uh, I can. I'm I'm really excited to see what see what happens. Um, and I know I'm gonna. I know I've got the captain's match in the bag, so everyone else is gonna you know fall in line. <laughs> And then I guess, I guess words. I guess it's also worth saying there's an unconventional point up for grabs too, isn't there? Yes. Well, yeah. uh, assuming assuming it works into our schedules, Dan and I want to play uh, a real life uh, golf match for a point. So, do you have any idea when that might yeah. happen? Probably next week. Yeah. If oh. if it if it if if it works, uh, but yeah, I think my 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 index is an eight point five, and what's yours, Matt? Now like eight point nine. I think it's like nine something nine. after the last couple of rounds. 
Actually, we're, we're trending in the wrong direction. I'll pull. I'll pull it up on the grint here. Well, so am I. I, I, I think like like maybe like one of my last nine rounds is counting towards my handicap. <laughs> are, are you guys starting to sandbag for this, or what's going on here? I've Point been nine. trying. Eight point nine. That is your index, Matt. Mine's right. eight. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it was like now. a nine five yesterday. Whatever. I don't know. That's what it says. It says Matt Matt Fritch eight point nine posted a score of eighty two at Oakmont Green Golf Club. So there you go. All right. I guess I did do that. Yeah. So yeah, we might need a uh, we might need we might need a uh, another a third party or something to to help us. Uh... I don't yes. think we'll stream the whole. Th we won't stream the whole. We wouldn't stream the whole thing, but we'll definitely catch some snippets. Yeah, that'd nice. be cool. Love that. Fly Ben out. Yeah, easy. <laughs> yes, that would be awesome. Wouldn't it be amazing? All right. Well, so All yeah, right. we're gonna we have the the traditional dream team matches. Um, every point match is gonna be worth one point this year. Um, we're not gonna have a three point match, but we are gonna have the additional um, captains play real golf match. Hopefully, um, assuming schedules and weather cooperate. And so uh, we're definitely looking forward to seeing what that looks like. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for having me as part of this and for um, having it over here on this channel. Um, it's been great fun to uh put this all together and uh, i'm looking forward to the shows that are going to be coming up later on in the year yeah no well, worries thank you for uh you setting this up you. for us okay awesome. yeah it's right. gonna be pretty great especially with you streaming the courses on your you know every day it's i think it's gonna really add a lot to the competition so appreciate to have you along wayne thanks boys all right guys um, that's going to do it for the 2021 TGC Tours Dream Team Draft. Um, I will plan to put this up on YouTube probably tomorrow. So anybody that missed this um, will have an opportunity to see it there. Um, but for now, designers, get out there and get your designing done. And let's can't wait till December to see what we've got for courses. So for Ben, Matt, and Dan, this is Wayne. What about Amy Obi saying goodnight? Night.